This next example is in the style of Kansas, Dust in the Wind. It goes a little something like this. The cool thing about this song is the right hand pattern is just a small figure and it keeps repeating over and over as the chords change. So let's start with that. We're going to begin on a C chord and the right hand is going to, be, is going to go like this. We're going to start with a pinch on the fourth and second strings. Then you play the fourth string, third string. And now we're going to go back to the thumb and go thumb, middle, thumb, index. So all together you get this. Now the rest of the song is just permutations on, on a couple chords here. So we're going to begin with C. And then we're going to get C major 7 by just taking off our first finger. And then we're going to add our pinky to get C2 and then back to C. So it's like this. Try it with me. Nice. Now we're going to go to an A minor shape, which is 2, 2, 1. We're going to do the same thing. So really all I did was add this finger. Add the finger. Okay, let's try that with the pattern now. Up to speed. Next part goes to the C2, which is second finger, third fret. Back to C. C major seven. C2. Again. but not least, we're going to go back to our A minor and do the same thing. So again, I, I heard a story about Kerry Livgren is the guy who wrote this song, and he wrote it on guitar as a finger picking exercise, and he was just practicing it, and I guess his wife walked by and said, you know, wow, that's really beautiful. You should turn that into a song. And he goes, oh, okay. So he writes Dust in the Wind, you know, and it ends up being like the big, one of their biggest hits. So we can practice this as just a nice little right hand finger picking exercise, staying consistent and moving through some chords. So here's the whole thing one more time. Speed. Mm -hmm. 